Attracting 27 million visitors every year, London is the most visited city in Europe. It's no surprise that London is top of so many people's travel plans. The city was founded by the Romans and has thrived over the centuries. Today, London is one of the most diverse cities in the world, with a rich history and some of the most outstanding culture on the planet. The city of London is the ancient center of London but is actually the smallest city in England. The London that we're familiar with covers a much wider metropolitan area and is home to almost 9 million people. With some of the world's best art, entertainment, shopping, dining, and history, it's impossible to be bored in London. In today's video, we'll talk about top 10 best places to visit in London. Number 10. Electric Avenue. Electric Avenue is a street in Brixton, South London, famous because it was the first market street in London to be lit by electricity. It spawned the number one song by Eddie Grant and has been the center of some parts of London history, including the Brixton race riots in 1981. Today, Electric Avenue is home to Brixton Market, a diverse and eclectic food market. Afterwards, check out the rest of the neighborhood. Brixton features a multitude of small businesses selling unique, quirky and handmade items. This is one of the most diverse areas of London, and an excellent spot to do some shopping or catch some live music. Number 9. Brixton Academy. For those on a hunt for live music, London has thousands of unique venues to offer. Venues span every niche or you can just go to an open night, at a local pub and see some up-and-coming musicians. One of the best venues in town though is Brixton Academy in South London. The Academy was originally a theatre and cinema called the Astoria, opened in 1929. Fifty years later, the venue became the Academy and now hosts some of the biggest rock and pop acts in the world. Some acts that have played at Brixton Academy, include The Clash, Sex Pistols, New Order and Madonna. The Smiths played their final ever performance at Brixton Academy. This is the go-to music venue if you want to catch some live music in London. Number 8. Baker Street. One of the cultural staples of London is Baker Street, best known as the street that Arthur Conan Doyle's infamous detective Sherlock Holmes lived on. Today you can find a Sherlock Holmes museum near the underground station, especially popular after the BBC revival, Sherlock. Madame Tussauds is just around the corner, the internationally famous wax museum where you can pose with your favorite celebrities. Afterwards, escape the crowds of Baker Street in the nearby Regent's Park, or by climbing Primrose Hill for London's most spectacular view of the city. Number 7. British Film Institute. The BFI or British Film Institute is a must-see for film lovers. The BFI is situated on the ever-popular South Bank and is the perfect spot to relax after a stroll along the waterfront, taking in the culture and atmosphere of this vibrant part of the city. The BFI show films every day, from mainstream blockbusters to reshowings of cult classics to one-off screenings of indie hits. There is also a library and shop for those who like to take their cinema seriously. The BFI also houses its own bar and riverfront restaurant for a delicious meal or to chat about the latest film releases over some drinks. Number 6. Thames Cruise. The Thames is the lifeblood of London, bringing industry to the city for centuries. It is England's longest river, leading into the North Sea at its end. It has been the base for settlements since prehistoric times, and was a strategic importance to the Romans and English kings, as well as during both world wars. There are a number of companies in London offering cruises across the Thames. Cruises run as regularly as every 30 minutes from several key locations. The cruises pass several key sightseeing locations, including Tower Bridge, the Houses of Parliament, and the London Eye. Some cruises run at night so you can see the sights all lit up, whilst others are served with a meal or afternoon tea. This is a lovely and unique way to view the city, traveling along the historic Thames. Number 5. Shoreditch. Shoreditch is one of the trendiest areas of London, having recently undergone extensive regeneration. It is now one of the hottest nightlife spots in the city and one of the coolest places to stay in London. 
Packed full of bars and eateries, it's the perfect place to spend a day and an evening. Check out Trapeze, a circus-themed bar that serves endlessly inventive drinks out of popcorn tub-style cups. For pop culture lovers, there's Far Rockaway, a chilled bar and restaurant filled with comic books, band posters, and a regular 90s night. Or visit the Blues Kitchen for a blues night accompanied by sticky ribs and other American staples. Number 4. London Eye. A trip to London isn't complete without a visit to the iconic London Eye. Originally constructed to celebrate the millennium, the Eye is a giant Ferris wheel offering gorgeous views across the city. At night, the wheel is lit up in seasonal colors and is the centerpiece of London's annual New Year's fireworks display. You can share one of the spacious pods with other keen visitors or splurge on a private pod for you and someone special. Team your visit to the Eye with a trip to the adjacent London Aquarium to see aquatic creatures from around the world, including jellyfish, seahorses, and crocodiles. Number 3. Camden. Camden is a well-known cultural neighborhood in North London. Known for its alternative culture, the crowds here are filled with goths, punks, rockabillies and tourists alike. Camden has a vibrant body mod community and you will find a number of piercing and tattoo shops in this part of town. Camden Market is eclectic and diverse, featuring street food from international cuisines, and lots of stalls selling trinkets and unique artwork to take home. Rummage through vintage clothing racks, Find a used book to take on your travels, or visit one of the city's best vegan bakeries at Cookies and Scream. After your shopping spree, stroll down to Camden Lock to relax by Regent's Canal or walk along the water all the way to King's Cross. Number 2. Westminster. Westminster is considered the political hub of London and is home to the Houses of Parliament and the world-famous Big Ben. Big Ben is the name of the bell housed within the iconic clock tower, and it still chimes every hour. You can also find Westminster Abbey here, which is open to the public most days. Whilst visiting these landmarks, be sure to rest your feet in Parliament Square, which features statues of important political individuals including Nelson Mandela and Winston Churchill. Number 1. Hyde Park. Hyde Park is possibly the most famous park in London, and it is one of the largest. The park has historical significance, having hosted a number of demonstrations and protests including protests by the suffragettes. The park's famous Speaker's Corner is still occupied by debates, protests, and performance artists every week. The park is home to several memorial features, as well as two bodies of water, the most famous being the Serpentine. Here you can go paddle boating see a number of swans, and take in a breath of fresh air in the center of the city. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video hit the like button also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update.